All right, well, we've got another cold day. Of course, this Arctic front is pushing east. It is dragging the wintry weather along with it. Uh, we do have some lake effect snow that will still be found within this cold air mass. But overall, the synoptic snow associated with the storm system will be pushing east. And then in the wake of this cold air mass for this upcoming weekend, we do have some warmer temperatures. We'll uh, get you through the winter weather headlines, though. As you can see, some winter weather headlines for the south shore of Lake Superior. That's lake effect induced around the shores of Lake Michigan and then there's that synoptic snow, as I mentioned, from the Ohio and Tennessee Valley into uh, parts of the eastern U.S. So that's where the uh, heaviest snow is going to be falling. But there will be some lake effect snow across the Great Lakes region. Other than that, looks pretty quiet. There is a quick clipper that will be diving through the Arrowhead of Minnesota into uh, portions of northern Wisconsin and the U.P. of Michigan. There could be a little snow with that, but again, generally with that would be the lake effect snow. Now, after that pushes on by, we're really going to start to warm things up. Notice how quiet it is across the plains. Temperatures, though, today still quite a bit below average. We're looking at anywhere from 15 to near 30 degree below average temperatures, especially as you get into the central U.S. Some single-digit highs as far south as Kansas City might not even make it above zero in Fargo. Again, with the wind, it will feel even colder than that. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, it'll be in the sub-zero range, even down as far south as Kansas City, Missouri, feeling more like the sub-zero range down that way. But again, watching that cold air shift east, then here comes the warmer weather for the weekend.